हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द मैथ्स क्लास स्टूडेंट्स इन चैप्टर मीट्रिक सिस्टम वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन टॉपिक्स कन्वर्जन एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन स्टेटमेंट सम्स ऑफ एडिशन एंड सब्ट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लाई एंड डिवाइड टुडे आई विल डिस्कस विद यू स्टेटमेंट सम्स ऑफ multiply and divide to understand this topic let's take some examples a tin of ghee weighs 15 kilograms 500 grams what will be the weight of five such tins now students you can see here weight of one tin is given and we have to find out the weight of five tins students while doing these type of sums first of all we will see which two things are given in the statement now first is tin of ghee and second is weight now which thing is given two times tin is given two times or weight is given two times yes tin is given two times so double in the line tin now weight is given single time so we will underline weight single time now first of all we will make one box and we will draw one partition line in between now the thing which is given two time now tin of ghee is given two time that thing will come on left hand side and the thing which is given single time that will come on right hand side tin of ghee on left hand side and weight on right hand side now students firstly how many tens are given yes a oh, a oh means one so we will write out here one second time how many tens are given five so we will write down here below one five and what is the weight of one tin of ghee that is 15 kilograms and 500 grams so in front of one we will write down 15 kilograms 500 grams now students 5 is more than one it is greater than one so we have to find out the weight of five tin of ghee that is 5 is greater than 1 so we will do more multiplying to find out the weight of 5 tin of ghee we will do multiply now we have to write down the statement also for this we will write down first statement with if and second statement with then now how we will write down the statement if one tin of ghee comma weight is equals to 15 kilograms 500 grams let's write down the statement if one tin of ghee weight is equals to 15 kilograms and 500 grams now second statement we will write down with then then Five tin of ghee, comma weight is equals to we will do multiply. Five then five tins of ghee, comma weight is equals to we will multiply this weight by five. Now we have to do multiply. Students, statement is given in kilograms and grams. So what we will do? 
first of all we will write on the table from kilograms till grams kilograms hectograms decagrams and grams now next step is we will arrange these numbers below these units 15 kg so 15 will come under kg 500 grams so we will write down zero here below grams this zero below decagrams and five below hectograms now we have to do multiply by five so in the next step we will write down multiply by five now let's do the multiplication five zeros are zero again five zeros are zero five fives are 25 so 5 we will write down here and 2 will carry over to the next number 5 fives are 25 25 plus 2 that is 27 7 here and 2 carry over to the next number 5 ones are 5 plus 2 7 now we have to write down the answer Answer will be 77 kg and 500 grams. 77 kg and 500 grams. Now, let's take one more example. 4 meter 75 centimeter cloth is required for Making a dress, find the length of cloth required for making 18 such dresses. Now students, again, what we will see? Which two things are given? One is dress and second is cloth. Now which thing is given two times? Yes, dress is given two times. So, we will double underline dress and cloth is given single time. So, we will single underline cloth. Now, again, we will make one box and in between we will draw one partition line. The thing that is given two times will come on left hand side and the thing that is given single time will come on right hand side dress is given two times so dress we will write down on left hand side and cloth on right hand side now firstly how many dresses are given a uh, a uh means one dress so we will write down here one dress and second time how many dresses are given yes 18 dresses are given so we will write down below one 18. Now, what is the length of the cloth that is required for one dress that is 4 meter 75 centimeter? So, we will write down here 4 meter 75 centimeter and we have to find out the length of clothes for 18 such dresses. Again, 18 is more than 1. So, we will write down here more multiply. Now, first statement we will write down with yes, if and second with then. So, first statement will be if one dress comma cloth is equals to 4 meters 75 centimeter. And second statement will be then 18 Dresses, comma, cloth is equals to 4 meter 75 centimeter multiplied by 18. Now we have to find out the length of clothes that is required for 18 dresses. Now students, which two units are given? Meter and 
centimeter. So, we will write table from meter till centimeter. Meter, decimeter and centimeter. We will arrange these numbers below these units and we will multiply it with 18. Now, let's do multiply. 8 fives are 8 fives are yes 40 so 0 we will write down here and 4 carry over to the next number 8 sevens are 8 sevens are 56 56 plus 4 is 60 0 here and 6 carry over to the next number 8 fours are 32 32 plus 6 38. Now, we will multiply this complete number by 1. 1 5 is a 5. 1 7 is a 7. 1 4 is a 4. Now, we will do addition. Here, 0 will come. 0 plus 5 is 5. 8 plus 7 is 15. 5 here and 1 carry over to the next addition. Now what we will get after adding 4, 3 and 1? Yes, that will be 8. So what is the answer? Answer is 85 meter and 50 centimeter. 85 meter and 50 centimeter. Let's take next example. 8 liter 575 milliliter milk was distributed equally among 7 children. How much milk was given to each child? Now again students what we will see which two things are given. One is children and second is milk. Now which thing is given two times? Yes that is children. So we will double in the line children and milk is given single time. So we will, so we will single underline milk. Now again we will draw in between one partition line. Left side we will write down children and right hand side milk. Firstly, how many children are given? Yes, seven. So, we will write down here seven. And second time, how many children are given? Each. Now, students, do you know what is the meaning of each? Yes, each means one. And how much milk is given? Eight liter, 575 milliliter. Now, 1 is less than 7. So, what we will do? We will do divide in this case. So, we will write down here less divide. Again, first statement we will write down with if and second with then. So, first statement will be if 7 children form a milk is equal to 8 liter 575 milliliter then one child milk is equals to, we will divide this quantity by 7. Now, for this, we will make divide sign and inside the divide sign, we will write down the metric system table from liter till milliliter. Now, we will arrange the numbers below it. Next step is we will do the divide. Now, 7. On 7 table, 8 doesn't come. And the number that is less than 8 is 7. That comes on 1. 7 ones are 7. Next step is 2 minus. 8 minus 7 is 1. Now, we will bring this 5 down. Now on 7 table 15 comes. No, on 7 table 15 
doesn't come. The number that is less than 15 is 14. So we will write down here 7. 2s are 14. Next step is minus. Now we will do minus. 5 minus 4 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. Now next is this 7 will come down. On 7 table, 17 doesn't come. So, we will take the number that is less than 17 and that is 14. 7, 2s are 14. Next step is minus. So, we will do minus. 7 minus 4 is 3. Now, this 5 will come down. Now on 7 table, 35 comes and it comes on 5. 7, 5s are 35. Now after subtracting, we will get 0. So next turn is of answer. What will be the answer? 1 liter, 225 milliliters. Let's take one more example. The weight of 11 registers is 25 kg, 575 grams. Find the weight of one register. Again, which thing is given two times? Yes, register. So, we will double underline registers. And what is given single time? That is weight. So, we will single underline weight. So, left hand side we will write down register and right hand side weight. Firstly, how many registers are given? 11. So, we will write down here 11. Second time, 1 register. So, we will write down here 1. What is the weight of 11 registers? That is 25 kg. 575 grams. Now students 1 is less than 11. So we will write down here less divide. Again we will write down first statement with if and second with then. So if 11 registers comma weight is equals to 25 kg 575 grams then 1 register weight is equals to 25 kg 575 grams divided by 11. Now we will make divide sign. We will write the table from kilograms till grams, kilograms, hectograms, decagrams and grams. We will arrange these numbers below this table. Now let's do the divide. On 11 table, 25 doesn't come. And the number that is less than 25 is 22. On 11 table, 22 comes on 2. So, we will write down here 11 twos are 22. Next step is minus. 5 minus 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. Now, this 5 will come down. Next, 11, on 11 table 35 doesn't come and the number that is less than 35 is 33. 11 threes are 33. Next step is do minus. After subtracting, we will get 2. 5 minus 3 is 2 and 3 minus 3 is 0. Now, the 7 will come down. New number is 27. On 11 table 27 doesn't come. And the number that is less than 27 is 22. 11 twos are 22. Next step is minus. Now after minus we will get 7 minus 2 is 5. 2 minus 2 is 0. 
now this 5 will come down. On 11 table 55 comes on 5. And 11 5s are 55. After subtracting we will get 0. So what will be the answer? Answer will be 2 kg and 325 grams. So we will write down here 2 kg and 325 grams. So students, today we have done statement sums of multiply and divide. Now you are able to do the related homework that we have sent to you in your SNAP homework. But students, before starting the homework, please go through the YouTube links that are mentioned in your SNAP homework. Have a nice day. Thank you.